Hello, YouTubers, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 16th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, as we have seen some strong C-class solar flares, and as well our sun did have some coronal hole regions, and we're already seeing an increase in solar wind speeds big time going through a G3 geomagnetic storm. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, large plasma blast there from a couple cresting sunspot regions. Looking at outgoing here, watching the last few images, there was a blast on the back side of our sun. Other than that, just strong C-class solar flares to talk about having a look at multi-spectrum here. We can see the last 48 hours of events from the active seven sunspot regions that are Earth-facing and turning away. But we also have some intense coronal holes to talk about and show you as well. And that is why we are looking at solar wind speeds up and over 600 kilometers per second. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, this is where we can see our coronal holes, which are the blackened regions. This one just finished an earth-facing event, and we have two more that are turning in for earth-facing. So watch for geomagnetic instability to continue here for the next couple days and possibly get even stronger with these active sunspot regions. I'm gonna be keeping an eye, having a look here at another light, just some amazing imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. As we have seven sunspot regions to show and talk about. Space weather conditions, we are under a G2, a moderate geomagnetic storm impact. And this is from a coronal hole wind stream as well, minor radio blackouts detected from the C-class solar flares. Looking at solar X-ray flux, you can see where the C-class solar flares were. Three of them, strong, almost M-class geomagnetic activity. We saw the KP index hop up to plus six earlier today. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 600 kilometers per second now, but we were up and over 740 kilometers per second solar winds from this incoming coronal hole wind stream. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, you can see all of that space weather coming our way and leaving backside CME blast and Earth is the little yellow circle there. Having a look at our magnetosphere, our solar winds, as we were impacted big time here. This is looking at the last six hours, but look at all that black, that backflow after seeing upwards of 700 kilometers per second, what is wrong with our magnetosphere? Heads up, everybody. Stay safe, stay aware, prepared. Having a look at the pressure planes versus the solar winds. And we are under a lot of pressure right now, especially equatorial regions. Having a look here at the last go to showing the last three days of events on our sun. We did have a couple Earth-facing C-class solar flares, but nothing major to report and no major CMEs thwarted our way. But if you watch in the last couple images there, that C-class solar flare, strong from the cresting sunspot region, was Earth-facing. So let's have a look at the Aurora forecast here for Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, as we are under a geostorm right now and most likely going to be seeing some pretty good northern lights tonight as far south as central United States. Having a look here closer over the northern hemisphere. Tonight and into to tomorrow. But man, look at this. As far south as central United States, North Dakota, South Dakota, even Wyoming. 
Ontario will see it tonight. So look to the skies, everybody. Keep looking up and keep staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide, keeping you updated as much as I can. We had no internet yesterday for about 36, almost 48 hours, hence no update. Let's have a look at earthquakes here for the past 24 hours as we saw an uptick for sure. Let's have a look at the last 48 hours. Last video, I did warn of a large earthquake coming and we got it yesterday. 7.2 earthquake, Fiji region. Fiji Islands, 167 kilometer depth. And look at all the earthquakes since then. And just today we saw another large earthquake, a 6.0 magnitude. Tonga region. And there's even quite a bit of SO2 coming out of that region. So we could, may have even seen another underwater volcano erupting or something because this is a hell of a lot of earthquakes. Deepest earthquake last 48 or last 24 hours, 548 kilometer depth there, Fiji. 6.2 earthquake here in Hukai, Philippines. Very strong shaker right by the tall volcano. Indonesia seeing residual effects. Up into Japan, off the coast, Honshu, Japan, 4.9 raging to 4.4. As well, a 4.2 there, Kamchatka. Alaska seeing activity as well, 4.6 there, Chicknick, Alaska, and a 4.2 White Mountain, Alaska. Up and over 230 earthquakes the last 24 hours, looking across the United States, Star Valley Ranch, Wyoming, as we have seen an increase through the region, but other than that, not much to report. USGS reporting 223 earthquakes in the map area right now, but it's up over 230 since making this video. Having a look at USGS, showing all the minor activity all around Yellowstone, south and north, northwest. And again, not much to report here. USGS, no major swarms to talk about except Kermadec Islands as earthquakes are still coming in through the region. Notable earthquakes here, Canton, North Carolina, as well, Arkansas and Reno, Oklahoma, straight across the New Madrid minor activity. Carrying on here to Hawaii, a couple earthquakes to report, 2.5, 2.6, and here's a look at the caldera infrared imagery, showing those little pits that have overflowed their banks yet again 4.2 earthquake there mexico as well a 4.8 oxaco 4.1 there into the caribbean plate puerto rico seeing lots of activity today south america pretty quiet considering 4.7 there san antonio de los cobros largest through the region 5.2 santa cruz chile and then a rare earthquake here to report, 4.8 in Corazon, France, at a 5-kilometer depth. Very rare earthquake. I barely report earthquakes there. Watch for a possible eruption in Italy. Activity into the Somalian plate over the last 48 hours as well. A 5.0 here in Bangladesh. Let's have a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers across the world. Three days ago, I had warned of a large earthquake to come from all of that deep earthquake event, deep earthquakes in the Tonga region that we were talking about. And sure enough, we saw this activity come yesterday with a strong 7.2. The numbers were still very low, under 160 earthquakes in the 24-hour period. But now it's picking up up and over 230 earthquakes the last 24 hours and steadily rising especially with the space weather effects right now under a G2 geomagnetic watch large earthquake swarm Kermadec Islands region as forecasted here with daily events worldwide stay aware and prepared and just be ready folks that's what this is all about 
Carrying on here, let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, most recent volcanoes getting updated. Notable here, Tornado Wakefield, Virginia, Tornado Watch, Fuego in Guatemala erupting, Popopacatotl in Mexico, 220 active hazards here, a lot of them are floods. If you want more specifics, please download the app and check it out. Looking at Sabancaya in Peru. As well, tsunami watches did go out from that Tonga earthquake, but none were imminent. Swiss and Najima in Japan. That's about five volcanoes out of the 49 that are active and erupting around the world. Stay tuned for the volcanic activity report will be coming as well planetary positions. Lots of smoke and nasty air quality moving into northeastern United States. As far south as Virginia, big low pressure system here moving into the west coast, bringing some relief for the BC fires overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Large low pressure system west of Hawaii, getting ready to trek north northeastward towards Alaska in the long range forecast, but a lot of moisture developing here in the southern hemisphere. Atmospheric river of moisture heading towards Western Australia. No major cyclones or typhoons to talk about right now. No named. But we do have one in the forecast, which is coming up very shortly here. Quick glance at the rest of the world. Intense weather moving up into Europe. Let's have a look at the air quality forecast here brought to you by windy.com. Quite a bit of nasty air quality through northeastern United States from all of the fires in Alberta and BC. As well, lots of SO2 and CO2 coming out of Popopacatotl through Mexico. Overlooking West Pacific. Big low pressure system south of Kamchatka. Overlooking Europe and Africa. Not too bad on the other side of the world right now. But definitely going to be keeping an eye on volcanic activity over the next 48 hours due to all of the events that have impacted Earth. Now let's get to weather here as we do have some intense weather here still building. Low pressure system heading up the east coast of the United States and into Atlantic Canada as well. A strong low developing Monday into Tuesday for Alberta. You could see some very extreme weather there. They saw 10 tornado touchdowns on Wednesday with the extreme weather event that went through. Watch for extreme weather here. Southeastern United States raking up the Atlantic coast. And that long-range forecast showing here, tropical system coming through the Central Atlantic. And then towards the Dominican and northward, probably going to be heading towards Bermuda in the long-range forecast. So stay tuned. Having a look over South America, strong low-pressure system off the coast there, but very dry and hot straight across central and southern regions until later in the week where you finally see some systems moving into Argentina overlooking Europe and Africa low pressure system off the coast of Ireland is going to be spinning there for the next few days bringing waves of moisture and then watch for a strong low to get tucked into northern France and then into Central Europe. Long range forecast could see some severe weather through Eastern Europe and northward up into Finland. Having a look here over the West Pacific and the Indies. Bar by Parjoy is on land right now and currently heading eastward under the Mongolian mountain range but being blocked by the westerly winds. 
overlooking Australia, some intense systems south of Australia, and as well, one lingering around New Zealand, another low-pressure system coming into northwestern Australia. Long-range forecast is going to be very wet for a lot of southern Australia right now and Tasmania, and as well, New Zealand. So heads up, extreme weather, lots of earthquakes, and many volcanoes erupting. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.